side, when, when it went into sub side like that, just you know, is that side you know, from the same type of lineage as, as you are, or it could be any, I mean, it could be some, some shape. Is it normal when you with your, some of your lineage, or if I should have lineage doing sub side with the jungle? And it's a higher side that we have someone from that same lineage, like from. It can be from anywhere. You see, by the word sadhu, our mind goes to those personalities who hold jata, who hold tilak, who hold the way, the sadhu way, the clothes. Our mind goes in that place. But actually speaking, my master one day told me that you are going out so always stay in between the sadhus. Always keep yourself in between sadhus. So I told my master, you please tell me the minimum, uh, uh, what do you call, the minimum that, uh, minimum qualities that a sadhu should have so that I can at least recognize who is sadhu and who is not to find that I am in between sadhus. So my master said that you just keep a keen eye on your own self and maintain that you yourself hold the quality of a sadhu. If you are a sadhu, then all that are uh, all around you, that will all be sadhus. So at that time I could not understand his words, but now I find that if I am a sadhu from inside, then all that are uh, surrounding me, they are all sadhus. And so for yourself then, what are the minimum qualifications? Oh, I just maintain that I am a true sadhu that I maintain and rest anyone like you are in front of me so I call you a sadhu I don't call you as a householder I take it guaranteed that you are a sadhu as because I am a sadhu from inside so I take it as a guarantee that you are in front of me so you must be a sadhu I take it that way. And, and, and one could be a Grahasti and a Sadhu at the same time? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you are in front of me, I call you as a Sadhu. I don't take you as a householder. If you were a householder, you would have been busy with your houses. <laughs> you shouldn't have been here. The wife might be that <laughs> I did sneak away a little bit sometimes. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and, and, the, and the belt, is it very uncomfortable when you first start wearing it? Yeah, it's very uncomfortable. At the, in the beginning, it can't let you sit, it can't let you move and you will have what you call uh, all burning sensation all around and uh, all this uh, skin will wear away and your mind will be totally concentrated on this part it gets concentrated on this part, lower part and it's very hard to elevate it from there to top. <laughs> it's a very hard job. And <laughs> it earlier, earlier, um, I know No, that's more comfortable. 
Very comfortable, but it's comfortable in comparison. <laughs> this is hard, you know, and weight. It weighs about nine kilo, ten kilo. This one. What takes up any of these one goes besides the cloth? What takes up any of the other ones? Right? Uh, it really helps them to maintain cells. Do we have to take it off even to wash, or just stays on all the time? Yeah, they wash it, and they wear a new one. They change it. Even the metal ones, they wear a new one. They take it off. They wash. They put a new one on. They yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Same with wood. No, it stays as it is. And you see, it's a what do you call it? Just a lingotti, like this. That part is wood. Huh? Even this part is wood. Even yeah. the bottom part is wood. Yeah. Huh. And so it almost seems that it has initially the opposite effect. What does it want to who wants to maintain celibacy and not think of their general region but their whole focus is always about the No. Is there some does that actually kind of bring it up? Like in some kind of subtle energetic way? Like does it push it up the shoe? No, what happens, you know, we can't stay without eating, we have to eat, and when we eat, we generate energy, and this energy gets concentrated, so we call this concentration of energy Oja, Oja, and this Oja, it has to find a way and when this ojo gets more and more heavy concentrated it reacts on the mind it reacts on the mind and makes you excited it makes you attracted with the other sex and then you get excited and with this excitement what you call sperms get generated and if you don't get excited, then no sperms are generated. But if you get excited, sperms get generated. And once the sperms get generated, it has to come out. So if you have no bodily connection, then all of a sudden, you have a what you call bad dream. We call it a bad dream. <laughs> so, and all the sperms come out one day maybe after three months four months it comes out all of a sudden <laughs>